So hello students and I am back. I am Sarim Khan studying in 5th standard and someone had requested to me for solving all the questions from chapter 9 from 9th class NCRT mathematics. So today I have brought for you chapter 9 that is area of parallelogram and triangles from class 9th NCRT mathematics. So in this video I am going to solve the question number first from exercise 9.1. So here as we know that there are 6 questions in question number first and in this video I will solve only 3 questions and in next video we will try to solve the next 3 questions. So the question number first is telling that which of the following figures lie on the same base and between the same parallels in such a case. Okay, write the common base and the two parallels. Okay, so here question is asking that some figures have been given to us. Now we have to tell that in those figures, okay, so uh, okay, generally two two quadrilaterals have been given to us, and in those figures, if both quadrilaterals lie on the same base, their bases can be taken as same. So we have to tell uh, that can it be taken as same or not. Later we have to tell do they lie between same parallels of the parallelogram. Later we have to write the name of common base and the two parallels. So here first for solving this question let me define parallelogram to you and later to triangles. So let me tell you such a quadrilateral in which opposite sides okay are parallel to each other that is a parallelogram. Just like here we have a parallelogram those two sides are opposite they are parallel. Now those two sides are opposite to each other they are also parallel. Next is triangles. Okay, let me tell you that a closed curve with three sides, okay, with three sides is called a triangle. Just like here this we have, it is also a closed curve having only three sides. So here question, now let us try to solve question. So first is, okay, here we have any parallelogram A, B, C and D. Okay, this parallelogram we have. Later inside this parallelogram there is a triangle. Okay, we can take this triangle as B. D and C. Okay, this triangle is P, D, C. Let us write its name here. Okay, our parallelogram we have A, B, C, D and tri this triangle we have P, D, okay, sorry, P, D, C. Okay, so now this we have. Now we have to tell whether A, B, C, D and P, D, C lie on the same base Okay, we know what is base. Okay, so here, okay, let me tell you that it just, just like if we take this DC as base, if we take DC as base, so here we can take that actually for parallelogram ABCD DC can be taken as base. Later, DC is also part of PDC. Okay, so if for PDC also DC can be taken as base, means DC, DC is part of both in this also and in this also. So in both DC can be taken as base, means here we can say that both can lie over the same base. Now we have to write the common base name. So base is our common base in this figure is DC. Okay this we have common base. Now we have to tell whether they lie between same parallels. So let me tell you for knowing this okay whichever which triangle is, has been given to us its all points should touch to the parallels of ABCD. As we know what are parallels here okay parallels are AB and CD. Okay so here the, so which PDC is okay P, uh, all points means point P, point D and point C should touch the parallels of our parallelogram. So so here P is touching to AB and D and C touching to itself means yeah they lie between same parallels because they are touching all the points okay of the parallel. So yeah now the two parallels the parallel name we can write okay this is symbol of parallel okay like this we can draw. So the parallels here are AB and D C. This is the first question. Now we have the next question. So we have any quadrilateral any parallelogram P, Q, R and S. Okay and inside that parallelogram there is another quadrilateral M, N, R and S. We have to tell whether they can lie over the same base. So let me write its name here. P, Q, R, S and M, N, R and S. Okay, so here just like RS is part of PQRS2, RS is part of MNRS2. So RS, okay, so RS can be taken in PQRS, okay, as our base and in MNRS also it can be taken as base. So much done, so much done. But now here, okay, so our common base is RS, okay. 
R S. So, but now we have to tell whether they lie between same parallels. And for this, which M N is they, this should touch to P Q. But here we have seen that M N is not touching to P Q. And by this we get conclusion that actually M actually means what is that they do not lie between same parallels. So here here nothing we have to okay here only parallel name is whichever parallels we have those are P Q and R S. But they are but let me tell you that they do not lie between same parallels. Okay. So the and the next figure is P Q R S. Okay. Again P Q R S. Later inside this parallelogram P Q R S we have any triangle that is R T Q. Okay. This is R T Q. So let us write its name here. P Q R S we have and R T Q. Now here let me tell you that R and Q. R Q is also uh, okay a part of this parallelogram whole parallelogram P Q R S. Okay, it is also part of this. Now here R Q is also part of this our uh, small triangle. Okay, this R T Q. So it is also part of this. So R R and Q can be taken as base. Okay, R Q can be taken as base by both our triangle also parallelogram also. Now do they lie between same parallels? So here our answer can be yes. Why? Because R Q is touching to R Q itself. We know it. Now this point T is touching to P S. Okay, as we know here our parallels are P S and Q R. P S and Q R are parallels in this parallelogram. We know it. Now here T is touching to P S and those points of our R T Q R is touching to itself. Okay, means our parallels are our P S and Q R and yes. Okay, answer is yes because they are lying between same parallels. So this was my today's topic. Thank you.